When onlookers witnessed a man strolling with his six unleashed German shepherds, they marveled at the remarkable obedience displayed by the dogs. Some even speculated that the man might be coercing the dogs into submission. However, their astonishment knew no bounds when they eventually unveiled his secret. As soon as Augusto d'Oliveira was spotted on the streets of Hyannis, Massachusetts, a wave of starstruck awe washed over the onlookers. Here was a young man in his early 20s, expertly guiding a sizable assembly of closely knit German shepherds. Right from the outset, it was evident that these dogs operated as a seamless unit, demonstrating astonishing cohesion and unwavering discipline. At the heart of this harmonious display was Augusto, their proud owner, unmistakably revered as the leader of this remarkable pack. This extraordinary exhibition, juxtaposing raw power with unwavering submission, astounded observers. It naturally drew the attention of numerous passerby, leaving them with more questions than answers. Utterly captivated by this incredible display of canine prowess and human-animal connection, the more people attempted to unravel the mystery behind Augusto's astounding feat, the more the situation began to raise suspicions. While many in the community were dog owners themselves, none had ever witnessed such remarkable obedience and unity among their pets as Augusto achieved with his pack of German shepherds. Even fellow dog trainers and animal experts found themselves confounded by the enigma. It was unfathomable how these dogs could move in perfect unison under such unconventional conditions. As daring onlookers ventured closer to the pack, they stumbled upon an unbelievable yet extraordinary revelation. No German shepherd wore a leash, yet they moved as if invisible cords bound them together, akin to the harness used to coordinate sled dog teams. Each dog instinctively knew its place and seamlessly fell in line at the mere command of Augusto's voice, discipline of a well-drilled army platoon. Surprisingly, the group had no quarrels or dominant struggles, unlike typical dog encounters. Even other passing dogs garnered no attention from Augusto's pack as they continued to march in unparalleled harmony. They remained utterly indifferent to the barks of other dogs confined behind fences or tethered to their owner's leashes. Their focus was unwaveringly fixed on their tight-knit pack and their esteemed leader, Augusto. As they embarked on their daily strolls through the streets and parks of Hyannis, people couldn't help but gaze in amazement. Many bystanders were so captivated by this extraordinary display of canine discipline that they frequently approached Augusto, requesting to take pictures with the exceptional pack. With a single command, Augusto could bring the dogs to an abrupt halt, arranging them for a perfect photo. As soon as the eager fans were satisfied, a simple whistle from Augusto and the dogs seamlessly fell back into their designated positions behind his legs. In no time, this young man and his remarkable pack became the talk of the town. Hushed whispers behind cupped hands became common, and the spreading gossip soon gave rise to unsettling suspicions that something far more sinister might be at play. Certain neighbors and onlookers harbored a deep-seated suspicion towards this man who seemed to prefer the company of his dogs over human interactions. Socially, Augusto appeared awkward, with very few visitors to his home and an apparent absence of human companionship. As night fell, Self-appointed investigators would station themselves outside his apartment, peering through curtains and straining to catch any hint of how such a reserved man could command such a formidable pack of dogs. There was a prevailing belief that he might resort to harsh methods to bend the dogs to his will, perhaps even mistreating them into submission. Some went to the lengths of scrutinizing his refuse in hopes of uncovering evidence. One particularly curious neighbor was a woman deeply committed to rescuing stray animals. She firmly believed that Augusto employed electric shock collars to reinforce obedience in his dogs. This same woman took it upon herself to canvass the neighborhood, rallying support for a petition. She was determined to involve the authorities and initiate an investigation into what she deemed an abusive dog owner in Augusto. However, Augusto could have dispelled these doubts if he had openly and clearly explained his training methods. Unfortunately, when questioned about his techniques, he remained notably secretive. Unbeknownst to him, this reluctance to disclose his methods only fueled suspicions. 
At most, he would reluctantly admit that his success came from an immense amount of dedication and patience, honing his training methods to the point where he could confidently walk his dogs in public without leashes. In all fairness, everyone recognized this to be true. It was no secret that he had devoted his life to becoming an expert dog trainer. Augusto had a unique connection with German Shepherds, a breed known for their courage and unwavering loyalty. These dogs possessed a strong instinct for guarding what they held dear and were willing to put their lives on the line to protect their loved ones. It was evident to anyone that this loyal pack of dogs would protect Augusto with their lives. However, this unwavering loyalty eventually raised concerns, prompting the police to investigate the elaborate complaint of potential animal abuse. In the minds of some, there seemed to be no plausible way these dogs were merely obedient out of respect for Augusto. Instead, they suspected Augusto employed sinister methods or torture to compel such unwavering obedience. If nosy neighbors and uninformed citizens had taken the time to research his background, they could have avoided this invasion of privacy. Despite making a life for himself in Massachusetts, Augusto grew up in Brazil, surrounded by German shepherds. As a young boy, he had displayed a natural and keen interest in animal behavior. Augusto had spent countless hours amidst his dogs on a farm in Brazil, and it was almost by chance that he discovered his innate ability to influence their behavior. When police officers entered his apartment, they were utterly astounded by the unconventional and unique lifestyle that Augusto and his canines led. There were no traces of traditional dog kennels or pens for his companions named Griffin, Harmony, Jenna, Anna, Priscilla, and Savannah. Instead, they all shared a bed with Augusto. No coach or carpet was off limits to his furry friends. It was abundantly clear that the dogs were a part of his life and his entire world. Puzzled and lacking clues, the police sought the assistance of animal experts who closely monitored Augusto for several days. These experts meticulously scrutinized his every action and thoroughly examined the apartment. After this intensive observation period, they were prepared to present their findings in a detailed report. The reassuring news was that the police couldn't uncover any signs of neglect or abuse regarding Augusto's German shepherds. Quite the opposite. These dogs lived in a canine bliss. While the police and animal rescue services commended the vigilant members of the public, who watched out for the welfare of vulnerable dogs, it turned out that this particular case was a false alarm. Augusto's dogs were treated with the utmost care and consideration, enjoying a life akin to royalty, complete with the best food and care possible. Their owner cherished them as if they were his children. Despite his initial outrage at the notion that people might have such negative assumptions about him, Augusto found a silver lining in this particular situation. He turned his passion into a prosperous business venture shortly after the investigation. Augusto established Griffin Shepherd Kennels, where he devoted his time and expertise to training dogs to be exceptionally disciplined and obedient to their owners. Many dog owners entrusted their puppies to Augusto. Within weeks, they would retrieve well-behaved, fully trained dogs capable of seamlessly adapting to various environments, including small apartments. While Augusto offered training for all breeds, it was evident that German Shepherds were his specialty. This skilled individual held his training methods close to his chest, but he was willing to share a crucial insight. He believed his dogs viewed him as an integral part of their pack. This unique bond, he emphasized, could only be forged through spending extensive time together. Augusto's practice of feeding his dogs twice daily, permitting them to sleep in his room, and dedicating ample time to exercise reinforced their acceptance of his leadership. When dogs became intimately familiar with their owner's body language and commands, they naturally regarded them as the pack's leader. This level of unity and discipline, demonstrated whenever people witnessed Augusto walking with his dogs, is truly remarkable. Not only can he guide his six German shepherds freely through the streets of Hyannis, but he also asserts the ability to lead up to 15 unleashed dogs simultaneously without a single mishap. Recently, he's even taken on the bustling streets of Boston, where his dogs maintain their impeccable behavior despite the heightened chaos of a completely different environment. 
What do you think of this incredible story? Let us know in the comment section below. See you next time. Bye for now.